everybody. Welcome to uh, another Melee Teams uh, match. You know, movie Melee, Melee Teams, but not just any Melee Teams match. It is the championship match. I can't remember if it's a the, I believe it's the first uh, Teams Championship that we've had this year. It is, yes. Uh, we got uh, Judgment City defending their belt and the challengers, Kumite, coming back from the dead immediately to challenge for the belt. Got Dylan here with me. Dylan, you excited? Uh, very excited, yes. Uh, obviously, two uh, powerhouse teams here today. I think this is one of the most a anticipated teams title matches I think I've seen in uh, quite a minute. On one hand, we have uh, the current champions, the undefeated team, Judgment City 6-0. and uh, One of the more dominant forces I think this division has really ever seen. Uh, they just looked basically unstoppable in their last few matches. Uh, but so I'm very excited to see what they do today. They're going uh, for their third defense here today. They're attempting to make it three, going up against Kumite, the former uh, team's champions in this league. Uh, another another one of the better teams that I think this division has ever seen. Uh, and I think they will provide a very unique uh, challenge for Judgment City, just because like their strengths are just so different from uh, Judgment City's. And yeah. I think they work like just so well together and I'm very excited to see how this match goes. Cause uh, just address the elephant in the room. There's also a little bit of bad blood in this match, so <laughs> it should be an interesting one. <laughs> you can say that. Let's just bring in our teams right now. Uh, bring in a uh, Kumite first, your challengers, Jake Meltzer, Bill Cariola guys. How you doing this fine uh, afternoon? Hey, we got a manager for this one. Oh, yeah, that's right. We, we were did. thinking, like, you know, the last two, eh, we didn't really need it. But we, we kind of want it. We, we wanted a little backup for this one. Uh, so we brought along a friend. Bring him in. Oh. Okay. Bring him in. Hey, guys, I just got your message. I know you sent it, like, three weeks ago. Um, I'm available. Oh, the suspense is killing me, guys. <laughs> You're like you know really what? badly there, Jake. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, we, we brought Bar. Bar has some uh, ex first hand experience with these guys. So, thought, like, who better? Um, yeah. So, we're very excited here because uh, we love we love movie trivia. When you think of movies, there are just so many epic moments the crane shot and the touch of evil, mm -hmm. the baptism, and Godfather. Mm -hmm. The wet t-shirt contest and hot dog the movie. <laughs> Cinema. And uh, if we could remember all of those things, I think we're gonna be good. What do you what do you what do you think, Bart? Uh yeah, I'm you, you know, this is gonna be a fantastic match. You yeah. guys are one of the greatest teams of all time. And you're going up against Bowman and Jeremy. And so this yeah. is gonna be difficult. But I think that you two have the brains the bronze, and the bulls to take these Chutzpah, guys. I believe, Chutzpah, as my roommate, yeah. as my teammate would say. Jake, anything to add before we have to restart your whole setup? <laughs> yeah, if I'm not lagging too bad, just you, you be around, you're around these parts long enough and you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Kalen Boatman has lived long enough. Let's put him to bed. I mean, in trivia, not in life. <laughs> All to right. be clear, um, you should live a long and fruitful life. Important clarification. <laughs> All right. I, I'm going to put your psychological warfare backstage and totally I'll bring in your champions, uh, Caleb Boatman, Jeremy Adams, Judgment City, with their manager, Cameron Holzman. How are you doing today, guys? Good. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, they, <laughs> these guys are teams champs for a reason. They've gone undefeated. We're going to keep the streak going. They'll do their talking in the ring, and let's get to it. Like the fuse. All right. <laughs> All right. Just go ahead and get started. Round number one. It's going to work like this. You guys are going to get eight questions from eight general movie categories. You have 15 seconds to write the answer down on your whiteboard. At the end of that time, we'll ask you to show and verbalize your answer. Each correct answer will give you a point. Uh, any one of you 
gets all eight correct, you will receive a bonus question, also worth one point because this is a five-round match. Each team gets four repeats and a challenge used throughout the match. Anything else before we get started? I'll take that silence as a no. Your first question in the category of recent releases. What is Elizabeth's profession in May, December? Okay, I was worried for a second there. It looked like Bowman was frozen, but it seems to be moving now, so that's good. <laughs> I mean, everything's gotten so perfect so far. I mean, why why would we change it up? Exactly, Five, yeah. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Start with Jake. Actress. Boatman. Actress. Bill. Actress. Jeremy. Actress. Clean sweep on that one. Two to two to get started. All right. Your next question will come in the category of action slash adventure. In Wild Wild West, Kenneth Branagh's Dr. Loveless plans to assassinate which U.S. president? What a classic film. Oh, yes. Do you need Ellador. full name or just last name? Last name's acceptable. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> well, trip us up our amazing joke. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Boatman. Ulysses S. Grant. Okay. Bill. Grant. Jeremy. U.S. Grant. Okay. Uh, yeah. Jake. U.S. Grant. Uh, U.S. Grant. U.S. Grant. Grant uh, will accept all versions of the name. Uh, four to four. Going to the next question, the category of Oscars. The Wizard of Oz, Going My Way, and Song of the South all won what Oscar? Cody just put in the chat, great movie. I'm assuming that was Wild to Wild Wild West and not Song of the South. <laughs> I mean, could be either. Could be both. You know, we'll, just, we'll just leave it up to speculation. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Bill. And yeah, fucking Mr. Oscars, right? Best original song? Okay. And Jeremy. Best original song. Oh, my God. Uh, Jake. Is it best original song? Boatman. Best original song. Neither team has missed a question yet. Six to six. Going into question number four. In the category of musicals. Oh my God. Come <laughs> on. What 1980s musical features the songs Where Is It Written, No Wonder, and A Piece of Sky? I had a feeling that was going to happen, you know, set us up on oh, nobody's missed. And then, you know, musicals comes up where, you know, <laughs> I think it's a vendetta at this point. He, he hit his last couple of musical questions. I just ready. randomly <laughs> guessing. Four, three, two, one, pen down. Uh, yeah, Jeremy. Pennies from heaven. Hey, Jake. Be really embarrassing if I miss this. Is it Yentl? <sighs> Boatman. Said Xanadu. Bill. All that jazz is a musical. <laughs> uh, one person is correct. It is Jake uh, Yentl is correct. So uh, breaking the tie, seven to six. Going into your fifth question, the category is sci-fi fantasy. In the two, in what two thousand sci-fi film will you find an AI called Vicky? Spelled V I K I, if that helps anyone. I don't know if. I don't know. <laughs> it could, you know, Just making sure. <laughs> Give you a little bit of a grace period on that. Never good at, you know, just kind of pulling out those letters there. Uh, it's five, fine. four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go. Yeah, we're back around to Jake. Total guess. I, robot? 
Okay, Boatman. I said Sunshine. Okay, Bill. I blanked. All right, Jeremy. Also guessed I robot. Oh, well, oh uh, I robot is correct. Uh, Holy Kumite, crap! Kumite, uh, oh my god! The lead, uh, eight to seven. <sighs> so your next question. question. Yep, we'll come in the category of actors and actresses. Name both actresses to play Lisbeth Salander in English language films. English language, we all know. Okay. Um, Beginning of that uh, Euro trash, this stuff over here. Okay. This is North America. No right, comment. Dylan? I'm not getting involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> One, a pen's down. Oof. I mean, my co host isn't with me. Uh, <laughs> uh, where the hell are we? Uh, Boatman. Claire Foy and Rooney Mara. Okay, Bill. I wrote Meryl Street and Sally Field because I don't know. So. Jeremy. Rooney Mara and Claire Foy. Jake. Rooney Mara and Claire Foy. Rooney Mara and Claire Foy is correct. Everybody but Bill getting that. So we are all tied up at nine again. Going into your penultimate question in the category of the 1970s. In Dog Day Afternoon, Sonny releases the bank's security guard after it's revealed he has what medical condition? I still have yet to see this one. I really need to. It's good. You know, some people really, really, really like it. You know, but yeah. I solid. also have not seen this, so let's see if I guess my way to a correct answer. So. Four, two, three, two. One pens down, pens down, Jeremy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Bill. Is it diabetes? Uh, Jeremy. I guess the heart issue. I can't remember. Jake. I haven't seen this movie in fifteen years. I just guess. Is he diabetic? Boatman. He's got asthma. Asthma is correct. And with that, after seven questions, there are no more perfect rounds. Going into your final question of the category. In the category of directors, who directed The Exorcism of Emily Rose and 2008's The Day the Earth Stood Still? I believe with that last question, Judgment City takes the one point lead. That is right. I didn't. It's 10 to 9. Slipped my mind. I mean, just in case, like, there is no, you know, counter next to us. There usually is because we have great editors, you know. That's true. Five, Shout out editors. Four, three. <laughs> Two, one, pens down. All right. Uh, yeah, Jeremy, where were you? Scott Derrickson. Jake. Scott Derrickson. Bill. I mean, no, Boatman. 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 Scott Derrickson. Uh, and now, Bill. Yeah, I, I didn't have it. Uh, Scott Derrickson is correct. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, I got Judgment City with 12, Kumite at 10. Is that what you have, uh, Dylan? That's what I got. All righty. That means we're going into round number two, which uh, is our uh, classic wheel round. Uh, both our teams will get a chance to spin our wheel. They like what they spin on the first time. They can keep it. If not, they can elect to spin again, but they must keep what they land on the second time. Uh, yeah, they're going to, from whatever category they land on, they're going to get five questions worth two points apiece, or they can check down to multiple choice for one point apiece. There is stealing in this round, so both teams watch your ass on that. Uh, the categories that can be spun on today are Oscar nominated Paul Newman and Fandom Disney Animation, which are uh, Judgment City Strengths, 1990s Black Cinema, and pre 2010 live action fandom, which is Kumite Strength, as well as Action Adventure. Oscars, comic book movies, classics, horror, and animation. There is no spinners cho spinners are opponent's choice here, so that's what we got. Uh, all right. Judgment City, would you like to spin first or defer? We will defer, please. All righty. In that case, I will... Wherever he is, where the... Oh, there are Holzman backstage. Bring in the bar guy. Kumite, would you like to... Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. You got to spin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is your first spin 
And you land on action adventure. Would you like to keep Are that? Are you not muted again? in this chat? <laughs> yeah. All right, Kumite, your first question in the category of action slash adventure. In what 2010s action film will you find supporting characters named Blondie, Blue Jones, and Rocket? Five, four, multiple three. choice, please. All right. Your options are A, Edge of Tomorrow, B, The Expendables, C, Pacific Rim Uprising, or D, Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch, final answer. That is correct for one point. And your second question in this category. Who plays Sardo Numspa, the man who kidnaps the golden child in The Golden Child? Charles Dance, final answer. That is correct for two points. And your third question. What is the name of the crime lord who organizes the martial arts tournament in Enter the Dragon? Yeah. Multiple choice, please. All right. Your options are A, Shen, B, Li, C, Han, or D, Fang. Five, four. Repeat the options, please. Sure thing. Your options again are A, Shen, B, Li, C, Han, or D, Fang. Five, four. D, final answer. Fortunately, incorrect. Uh, Judgment City for the one point steal. Is it A, Shen, B, Li, C, Han, or D, Fang? Li, final answer. Uh, that is also incorrect. We're looking for C, Han. Okay. So then your penultimate question in this category. What class does Zank Yendar belong to in Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves? Paladin, final answer. That is correct for two points. So now your final question in this category. At the beginning of executive decision, Hassan and his men hijack what mode of transportation? Five, four, three. Airplane, two. final answer. That is correct for two more points. Alrighty, with that, uh, Kumite finishes uh, their spin at the wheel with 17. Uh, Judgment City still at 12 that we have, Dylan. That is what I have, yep. Alrighty. I'll bring back up the wheel. Here's Holzman, and uh, this would be Judgment City's first spin. And you land on the category of Oscar nominated Paul Newman. Would you like to keep that or spin again? We're going to take it, please. All right, to be keeping uh, Oscar-nominated Paul Newman, uh, we'll uh, take out Holzman here and take off the wheel, and I will ask you your questions in Oscar-nominated Paul Newman. Your first question. 
Who plays Wild Man Moore in Paris Blues? Louis Armstrong, final answer. That is correct for two points. Your next question. What kind of business does Michael Gallagher own in absence of malice? Five, four, three. Multiple choice, please. Okay. Multiple choice options are A, liquor store, B, diner, C, hardware store, or D, grocery store. Hardware store, final answer. That is incorrect. Going over to Kumite for the one point steal. Is it A, liquor store, B, diner, C, hardware store, or D, grocery store? Liquor store, final answer. That is correct for the one point steal. All right. And on to your next question. In Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, what is the name of the renowned tracker that is with the posse hunting Butch and Sundance? Multiple choice, please. All right. Uh, multiple choice options are, is it uh, A, Lord Columbus, B, Lord Chicago, C, Lord Minnesota, or D, Lord Baltimore? Lord Baltimore, final answer. That is correct for one point. Your next question. In, in what a way to go, to whom does Louisa want to give 200, $211 million to? Multiple choice, please. Multiple choice options are A, the IRS, B, the fire department, C, the Girl Scouts, or D, the Department of Education. Five. IRS, final answer. That is correct for one point. All right, your final question in the category. In Nobody's Fool, what item of Carl's does Sully steal to get back at Carl for his latest failed lawsuit? Multiple choice, please. Multiple choice options are A, television, B, fridge, C, snowblower, or D, car. Snowblower, final answer. That is correct for one point. Okay, uh, I may have about to score a little bit, but uh, I got the uh, uh, Kumite with the lead still at 18. Judgment City at 17. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yep. All right, good. Did not screw it up. All right, with that, we'll go on to round number three. Round number three in uh, championship matches. going to work like this. Uh, each team has submitted uh, two de two movies uh, to Deep Cut Study for, for this match. Uh, we, we will ask one question from each film. That's going to be worth uh, two points apiece. Uh, same whiteboard... Uh, uh, rules apply here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Each question is worth two points. So you miss it, and uh, nothing happens. So, uh, the uh, movies selected a deep cut study 
are uh, Moneyball, Mary Poppins, Hot Dog the Movie, and Cobra. Uh, we will get started with uh, the. Let's we'll get started with Moneyball. Question in Moneyball. In Moneyball, when Billy meets with the owner of the Red Sox, he tells him he should go get his assistant either a scarf or what specific item for her birthday. This is the first time I've seen a deep cut question say in title of movie. <laughs> yeah, I was a little thrown off by that. <laughs> This is intense. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, we will start with Timothy. A bowling ball. Alrighty. Uh, Judgment City. We tried to use a repeat, but we couldn't get it in time. That's fine. All right. Uh, bowling ball is correct. Going to the next one, Dylan. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so your next question will come in the category of Mary Pop in the category in the mo movie of Mary Poppins. Name three of the four things Bert has to do before he can perform magic. We are looking for a specific answer. Give you a little bit of extra time for this one too. Yeah. I'm going to keep an eye on the players now to make sure they get the repeats in. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, pens down. Go to Judgment City for this one. You think, you wink, you double blink. All right, uh, Kumite. Okay, we said think, wink, and blink twice. You didn't say, like, specific. Said specific. They did say specific. That's what they do. Uh, so. We, we, we said specific, so I'm going to say that is incorrect. Okay, then we will challenge because that is, I think, well, hold on. Uh, let me bring in Bar. Let me bring in Bar. Well, they're talking about it in their call, but yeah. <laughs> Can you read the question again, please? Okay. Yeah. Name three of the four things Bert has to do before he can perform magic. And Dylan did specify here we need a specific answer. Yeah. Right, what are we doing here, guys? We'll leave it. Okay. Right. Actually, hold on. Can I don't know if we're allowed. To actually, just. Okay. No, we're fine. Go ahead. Okay. All right. And with that, uh, there's no challenges. So we'll move on to your next question to come in the film Hot Dog the Movie. Harkin tells Sonny that his sister believes that he is good that he is as good of a musician as who? So this is a movie. I mean I didn't have to watch it, so you know like Yeah. Feel must feel pretty good. <laughs> Feel fantastic. That's five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Hands down. <laughs> That's good. I'm take. I mean, the words a movie are in the title. Uh, John Denver. Uh, Judgment City. John Denver. 
John Denver is correct. Kumite maintaining the one point lead going into the final deep cut question. In the film Cobra, when Cobra is confronting the killer in the grocery store, why does Cobra tell the killer to go ahead when he threatens to blow up the store? You a big Cobra guy, Mark? No. Mm. It's too bad. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. And let's go to Judgment City. Go ahead. I don't shop here. Terrible impression. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, go to Kumite. I'm going to forgo that and just say he doesn't shop there. Uh, he doesn't shop there is correct. Uh, so Kumite uh, maintained the one point lead 24, Judgment City 23. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have. Yep. All righty. That will move on to round number four, which is our uh, Revenge of the Wheel round. I believe that's what we call it, uh, in which uh, our teams will get a chance to uh, give their opponent a category on our wheel. They answer from uh, they can uh, get they can give them any of our gen they can give them any general categories or they can give them their own strengths they cannot uh, they can give uh, their opponent their opponent strengths they cannot give them their own strengths uh, uh, when, I, when I, they're going to get five questions as always it worth also worth two points apiece there is no stealing and no multiple choice uh, Kumite you are ahead. Uh, so would you like to, uh, what category would you like to give them or would you like to defer? But nobody does that. So, you know, so, uh, so we would, we're going to give them their category first and yeah. Do you want to give them more bill? Yeah. Let's give them more. Okay. All right. You got it. All right. Take out, take out bar, take out the wheel. And, um, Dylan, why don't you ask him these questions? All right, so your first question in the category of horror. In what horror film does a drug called ephemeral have drastic consequences when given to pregnant women? Uh, is that Village of the Damned? Is that what the remake was about? I don't know. Um, or I guess, could that be, could it be like Basket Case? Or... Five. Let's just go with Village of the Damned. Village of the Damned, final answer. So, fortunately, incorrect. We were looking for scanners. Oh, my God. I didn't remember that at all. Bummer. So, your next question. As implied by the opening scene in Land of the Dead 2005, what kind of profession did Big Daddy, the intelligent leader of the zombies, have before he died? I, he might have been a construction worker. I, he's a big guy. I'm not sure. Okay. Construction worker, final answer. That's unfortunately incorrect. We were looking for a gas station attendee. All right. Oh, okay. Your third question in this category. Who directed Happy Death Day, Happy Death Day to You, and Freaky? Christopher Landon. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Christopher Landon, final answer. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Now your penultimate uh, question. What Academy Award winning actor plays Major Matthew Collins in 1993's Body Snatchers? It's Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker. Correct for two points. So now your final question in this category. In the 1957 film, The Night of the Demon, a.k.a. Curse of the Demon, the victims are marked for death when they are handed what? I haven't seen this one. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, when they're handed... I have for some reason, like, a flower sticking out to me. I, I was thinking maybe, story, but... maybe a card, but I don't know. I can go with flower. Five, four, flower for an three, two. Uh, that is incorrect. We are looking for a piece of paper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that 
Uh, we'll go over to actually I uh, go over to Judgment City. I'll bring back up the wheel, and we'll bring in your manager when I find him. Where the hell is he? There he is. Uh, I'm over here. Oh, uh, what category would you would you like to give Kumite? We'll give him Oscars, right? Yeah. Oscars. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They got Holzman. They got the wheel, and I did not say it before. I judge him city at twenty-seven. Kumite twenty-four. That you got, Dylan. Uh, twenty-seven, twenty-four. Yeah. All righty. Uh, I will give Kumite their questions and Oscars. What film won the best original song Oscar for films released in two thousand seven? Ah, oh, God. These fucking questions. Um, hmm. That, no, it's not get rich or die trying. No, uh, it's not the. It's not hard out here for a pimp. That was five, earlier. Four, I have no clue. Three. Repeat the question. We can eat one here. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, as uh, your first repeat, come and tell you your question again. What film won the best original song Oscar for films released in two thousand seven? So I'm trying to think of Juno. Uh, there wasn't, yeah, there was Juno. I don't think it was that. I don't think there was like a Disney movie. There wasn't mm-hmm. really, uh, there wasn't, um, there wasn't anything from Ratatouille. Um, Five. I, I honestly have nothing. Three. I don't know. I can't think of it. It's a, I don't know. Five. It's fine. All right. Uh, the correct answer was once. Oh, slowly. oh shit. What? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, uh, that is incorrect. The song, I believe, the song is called "Falling Slowly." Is the name of the song that one. So their answer is wrong. So no, I we're not understand. answering. No, oh, like the no, answer. No, no, the answer on the sheet is gave, oh, okay. they, Their I'm answer sorry. is wrong. Like uh, Bar wants to be brought not, in. Yeah, bring. You're muted. You're muted, Bar. You're muted. They asked for the movie, not the song. Oh, they asked for the movie. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. That's my bad. Yep. Okay, That's then never mind. Then. Okay, never mind. Sorry to waste everybody's time. Yeah. I was really hoping y'all would use the challenge there. <laughs> That's why we got okay. it. Yep. With that, uh, your next question. Oh, boy. Uh, David Lynch, Roland Joffe, James Ivory, all lost best director to who? Um... I believe that's Oliver Stone for Platoon. Go for it. I have no clue. Oliver Stone, final answer. That is correct for two points. <sighs> okay. Made sure I heard that one right. And next Ooh. question. Who was the only other person to be nominated for Best Actress both times Hillary Swink won the award? Okay, when did she okay. win? So two thousand. So for films released in nineteen ninety nine and two thousand four. Okay. Um. So. No, I don't think it was, was it. Kate Meryl Winslet, Sh- Charlize Meryl Theron. Streep. Meryl Streep's always a good guess. I know. Um, four. I think we can burn another one here. Let's repeat the question. All right, that is your second repeat. Your question again. Who was the only other person to be nominated for Best Actress both times Hillary Swank won the award? Frances McDormand. Uh, I don't think she was nominated that um, that year. Uh, All right. Thinking, Probably not Nicole Kidman. I don't think it was Nicole Kidman. She wasn't nominated for Eyes Wide Shut. Um, yeah. uh, I'm just going to go. For I'll just one, throw three. out Kate Winslet. Final answer. That is incorrect. We are looking for Annette Benning for American Beauty and Being Julia. Okay. Yeah, no. okay. All right. yeah, that was never All right. And, uh, your penultimate question in the category. Who won Best Supporting Actor for films released in 1969? Okay. Um, shit, what so there's won? 2001, there's Urban Cowboy. There's No, it's films released in 1969. Oh, well, um, I have no fuck clue. All right. Uh, I don't think it's no. Uh, he was nominated for best actor. Shit. Four. Is it George Kennedy? Two. George Kennedy. Final answer. No, that's wrong. But nope. I didn't want to burn it. That that here. is incorrect. Uh, we're looking for Gig Young. Nope. Yeah, that was never happening. Nope. Happen. I don't even know what that name is. For uh, that's a made they up. Shoot, they shoot horses, don't they? I don't know. You're asking one. me. <laughs> <laughs> 
your final question, the category of Oscars. What is the only Oscar the Postman won? The Postman? Uh, be- uh, I don't know. Best costume design, best visual effects, best sound editing. Was it best original uh, song? Wasn't there a song for the Postman? I don't know. Uh, I don't think, no, because that was the same year as Titanic. Score, uh, cinematography. Four, uh, I think three, let's just go. Two, go for Best it. sound One. editing, final answer. That is incorrect. We're looking for best original score. Shit. Wow. Okay, sorry. it was that close. So that's fine. I just figured the same year as Titanic would have lost James Horner. All right. Uh, with that, I got Kumite getting their score up to 26. Judgment City at 27. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yep. Close fucking match like we all thought it would going into the fi- our final category of the match, which is our uh, new Pick Your Poison round, in which uh, our teams uh, drafted from our general categories uh, before the match. They will now draft from those uh, categories again to determine what they will answer for here. Uh, they'll get up to four questions worth uh, one, two, three, and four points. Um, the categories they can select today are sports, Oscars, horror, classics, action adventure, animation, fandom, and 1970s. We're going to have our teams uh, draft those categories right now, and hopefully we come back and finish the shit out. All right, we're back. Our competitors have uh, picked their categories. Uh, as uh, as uh, we've done before, uh, uh, both both players on each team can uh, congregate or whatever it is for all for all four questions. Uh, we will go until uh, one team is uh, either, until either we're run out of questions or one team is mathematically eliminated. Kumite, you are behind, so we will start with you. What will you take for your one point question? Animation, absolutely. Yeah, we'll take a one in animation, please. All right. Dylan, why don't you go ahead and give Kumite their round five questions? Sounds good. All right. So your one point question in the category of animation. Anne Hathaway, Glenn Close, and Patrick Warburton provide voice performances in what 2000s animated film? I think it's, if it's what I think it is, I think it's Hoodwinked. Okay. I think is the name of it. Uh, Anne Hathaway, Glenn Close, and who is the other one? Patrick Warburton. Yeah, I think. Go for it. Yeah. Hoodwinked. Final answer. That is correct for one point. Okay. Okay, and uh, since we're tired, go over to Judgment City for your one point question. Can horror? Yeah. Or... yeah, horror for one. I think. Okay. You got it. I'll ask you your round five questions. Here is a your one pointer in horror. What is the de- what is the demonic name of the titular nun in the Nun who also appears in the Conjuring Two? Shoot, I all I can I the only name I can think of is Valak, but I don't think that's her. I think that's the old man, but it's the only thing I can think of. Is there like her name in any of the sequels? Oh. No. I'll Three, just say Valak, final two. answer. Damn it. Valak is correct. Oh, my God. Nice. Point. <laughs> Woo, <what did>? <laughs> <laughs> my that girlfriend's that terrified of that character, by the way. <laughs> what character, big bitch? So that will move over to Kumite. What would you like to take for your two-point question? Uh, uh, do we want to go Do you want to go sports here? Sure. Yeah. Let's do sports. Ready. Dylan. All right, your question in the category of sports. In Hot Dog the Movie. In Hot Dog. <laughs> Who directed Miracle? Oh, uh, it's Gavin O'Connor. It's the guy yep. who did Warrior. Go for it. Gavin O'Connor, final answer. That is correct for two points. Right back over to Judgment City. What do you want for your two point question? Uh, I think we'll take 70s here. What do you think, okay. Jeremy? Do you want to do either seven, either or seven or classics? What do you feel? I feel like I feel better at us with classics at like a okay. three. All right. So let's, let's do seventies. Okay. Yeah. Seventies. Right. Is that good with you? Yeah. Seventies for two points. All right. Here's your two point question in nineteen seventies. 
Who directed Straw Dogs? Uh, Sam that. Peckinpah, right? Yeah, Sam Peckinpah, Final Answer. That is correct for two more points. Judgment City takes back the lead, 30 to 29. What would you like to take for your three-point question, Kumite? Resist the urge to quote Hot Fuzz. Um, are we... I don't really... Okay, so here's the thing. Yeah. Like, because of our strength category, what they can ask from fandom is more limited. I mean, it's still a lot, but action, it can go all over the place. Okay. So I'm thinking do action for three. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I mean, sort of, sort of kept up with the new categories. Um, yeah. But I think we still have two repeats. Uh, yeah. I think we should do action. Like, okay. it's the same question either way. So, yeah. let's do action for three. Okay. Take it away, Dylan. All right. So, your three point question in the category of action slash adventure in Bullet Train. What is the nickname of the Yakuza boss? Yakuza boss. Oh, which is Michael Shannon. Yeah. Oh, God. I saw this movie once. Yeah, I know. Me too. Um, um, it's like the white something. It's not white shadow. Uh, Five. You want to use a repeat here? Yeah. Three, yeah. Repeat two. the question. All right. That is your third repeat. Your question again. In Bullet Train, what is the nickname of the Yakuza boss? Yeah, I like forgot this movie as soon as I saw it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, like the, it's almost like the Russian or something. The Russian? Yeah, but that doesn't make white sense. Russian. Is it white Russian or just Maybe. like the Russian? I, I, white Russian sounds right, but I could be extremely very wrong. So Five. Okay. I, I have, have nothing better. better. So three. White Russian, final answer. So unfortunately, incorrect. Was it just uh, the Russian? Very close. We were looking for the White Death. The White Death. I was. Mm. It's all right. <sighs> okay, uh, with that, uh, Kumite has one question left. Uh, their four pointer in horror, uh, which they no. need to no. hit. No. Fandom. Oh, Fandom. I don't know Thank why I said you. horror. That was fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you need to hit your four pointer in Fandom. Uh, to continue the match, or else uh, Judgment City will defend the belt once again. Yeah, all right. Dylan. So your four-pointer in the category of fandom. In The Losers, what is the name of the weapons it is revealed that Max is selling to international terrorists? I mean, I hate to be crude here, yeah. but... I think it is like the snook or something like that. I haven't seen it. I really do think don't it. know. Five. I mean, what's the last question? Repeat the question. All right. That is your last repeat. Your question again. In The Losers, what is the name of the weapons that it is revealed Max is selling to international terrorists? Like, that didn't just come to mind because of South Park. Like, yeah, I know. Uh, He's fine. I. I think it is something like that. I mean, I don't remember. I, if I we lose, if we lose on this, it sucks, obviously. Yeah. But Five. yeah, four. Snook. Final three. answer. That is correct for four oh, big slits. Wow. <laughs> wow! Congrats. Whew. Okay. All right. Oh, that oh, Kumite gets. Kumite gets a score up to thirty-three. Uh, Judgment City are still at thirty. So. All right, uh, three we can tie it. We go. can tie it here. So with that, what would so you like I to take for a three pointer? I think we take classics for three yeah. since it's the same three four anyway. Yeah, I feel better about us and Oscars and classics. Yeah, so let's do classics for three and Oscars for four. Good with you, Jeremy. Okay. Good with me. Okay. Classics for three, please and thank you. All righty, here's your three point question. Category classics. What 1940s crime film centers around the murder of a man referred to as the Swede? Oh, shit. We don't need to repeat here, but we don't really it's have... It's ringing a bell. It's definitely ringing a bell. Uh, the Glass Key, um, Laura, Gilda. Five. 
four, three, two. The glass key, nine. finally. That is incorrect. We're looking for the killers. Oh, yeah. Killers. Oh, All right. Yeah. So well, here's well, this. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it is it the Swede or is it Swade? I thought Burt Lancaster because it's like Swade and not Swede, but maybe it's Swede. I thought it was. Can we get Holzman in here, please? It it's sweet. It's SWD. Okay. 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 It's sweet. Okay. Fair enough. You're good. Thanks, Holtzman. All righty. Uh, that no challenge here, which means, uh, we have one question left, which is uh, the four pointer in Oscars for Judgment City. Okay. Uh, if they hit it, they win. They will retain the belt. If they miss it, Kumite will be your new champions. So Judgment City. Here's your four-pointer in the category of Oscars. The pride of the Yankees, how the West was won, and who framed Roger Rabbit all won what Oscar? I want to say it's editing. That was the first thing I thought. I want to say it's editing because I know who framed Roger Rabbit won sound editing and visual effects and editing. We'll use a repeat here. We'll wait yeah. for it to get to time. Repeat, please. All right, that is your first um, repeat. Your question again. You man the repeat, but yeah. Oh, sorry. Question again. The pride of the Yankees, how the West was won, and who framed Roger Rabbit all won what Oscar? Yes, because who framed Roger Rabbit only won visual effects, editing, and sound editing. Sound editing that year, I will never forget, went to It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Okay. Uh, shout Five, out to the bar backstage. Four, I'm confident three, editing. Let's use one more repeat. Repeat, okay. please. All right. As your second repeat, your question again. Uh, the Pride of the Yankees, how the West was won. And who framed Roger Rabbit all won what Oscar? Yeah. You, it was okay, the first thing I thought of because of how the West was won. I felt like it had to be editing. I think I think it's yeah. editing. I want to yeah. go for it. Yeah. Best editing, final answer. And your winners and still melee teams champions. <laughs> the correct gosh. answer was best film editing. We lost great, great on the last editing. question. Great match, uh, guys. We will uh, uh, take out Judgment City for the time being. We will uh, keep uh, Kumite here with us. Bring in your manager. Uh, guys. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Nope. No, wait. Guys, played a, hell of a, played a hell of a match. I, I want to say it's probably the closest uh, anyone has uh, taken Kumite. Has taken uh, Judgment City. This, uh, he's made Mansa there, a four-pointer. Uh, I, I really got nothing else to say. This is a really good match. I just want to uh, put, put put it over to you guys right now. You guys go first. Yep. Bar, you're muted. Bar, what I the know. fuck, man? <laughs> Where's where the mute button is? <laughs> uh, let me take a little time so my, so my uh, players can collect. Um, first of all, congrats to Judgment City. This was a hell of a match from both teams. And I wanted to specify that. From both teams this kept going back and forth and you guys took them further than any other team has you made them start sweating so you guys are going to be right back in this spot eventually and eventually take the bells from whoever has it if it's still judgment city if it's whoever else like can come up and beat them you guys are going to be back in this spot it was one point that's something that you guys should be proud of. Like, how many points do you have total? What was it, 33 or something yeah, 33. like that? 33. That's amazing. Like, most teams can't get that shit. And you guys did. So, I know that you guys are upset and frustrated right now. But you guys played a phenomenal match that you should both be proud of. Go, Bill. I'm just so sad now. We were so close. Uh, and next time you're not going to be close, you're going to win next time. I know you said we did amazing. Apparently amazing just still isn't quite good enough, is it? No. We really wanted to do everybody a favor. We really wanted yeah. to 
slay the see, beast. See, see that's the that, bad guys. Yeah, because the they are. But, like that's the thing. We got messages and words of encouragement from everybody in the community. Please be Judgment City. Please kick their ass. And we couldn't do it because we, we messed it. up one word in the deep cut round. If we had just said jump instead, we would be winning, right? We would have won. And that's, I can't, I'll never get over that. And it's very hard for me to be a good sport about this one. I have, outside of trivia, I have all the respect in the world for Caleb and Jeremy. Yeah, they're fantastic. But I have nothing I but competitive them. venom and enmity for them. Competitive hatred is out of the screen. So because of everything they represent to this game, it's just, it's hard to take, it's hard to take this laying down for me. And I came back for three reasons. I came back because I missed the game. I came back because I want, I missed playing with Bill and I came back because I wanted to be the one to be us to be the ones to be Judgment City. And we don't get the chance to be the heroes this league deserves and it sucks and uh yeah i i should probably stop talking before i get even even more trouble because it's all right I'll, I'll, this is uh, this is I'll, shitty i'm sorry yeah we, like, we tried i just couldn't remember bullet train normally i would remember so i was so close i was we so close, close yeah yeah oh god and i almost said best original score like it's it's a bunch of little. I ta I talked you out of it. That that's my bad. And like misheard the question, and Oscar. Just we were nervous. Yeah, like, uh, we've been a ball. We were nervous. I've we knew that ball. Oscar. Like okay, I will get. I will have to be very quick. If movies release dates is no longer a category, Oscars should no longer be a category because it has nothing to do with the actual movies. It's ridiculous that it's still a category. Literally three people like it, and they all happen to either be current admins or former admins. It is stupid that category. Now we're in trouble. trouble. Now we're in trouble. If I'm getting, if I can never play again, so be it. But fuck it. I it hope not, because I fucking like, I like playing. With I like it. playing I like too, it. but yeah, I like. I need, I need faces, to speak but my they watch truth. The movie, I give them. It's okay. It's what I'm I had to speak now. my truth. Yeah, That's all I got to say. Fine. So yeah. from here on, here, I'm gonna relax. I gotta go food shopping. Huh. Shit. Nice. Well, so I gotta uh, do that first. Make yourself a. Then I gotta wrap it up. Sandwich. We gotta wrap it up. We yeah. have complained long enough. Also, congratulations to Judgment City. Ha you guys uh, earned it. Yes. So, and we made you but, work for it. I'll take that. Yes. Well, usually I'd ask you who you want to play next, but clearly it's Judgment City. So uh, we'll I just... still want to play Bullets Over Broadway. It I doesn't mean, even have to be for points or anything. It could just be an exhibition. I just want that match more than anything. <laughs> well, yeah. I only work here. Let's we'll see what we can do. Yeah, You're doing a hell of a job, both of you. I love you guys. I'm, yeah, I'm you guys just working with you both. Great you. game, guys. Uh, see you next time. All right, guys. And we'll bring in your winners and still melee champions. Judgment City, Caleb Boatman, Jeremy Adams, and the manager, Cameron Holzman. Uh, guys, uh, I, I would say... I, I kind of reiterated what I said last time. I, I believe this is the hardest you guys have been challenged uh, since you've had to defend this belt. And you guys came out swinging right round one, uh, solid round number two. You kind of kept it close throughout that time. Really, the uh, the uh, the difference was that Revenge of the Wheel round. I think you played just slightly better there. You able to get a small lead and going in around number five and you hit the four-pointer. Um, I imagine you guys are excited about that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just want to say, I think, you know, you're not a, ch I don't feel like you're really a champion if you're not really put to the test. And this was a match where we had to employ all of our, all of our chemistry, all of our knowledge, everything that we did to get, to get to that ending. And I'm so proud of that. And um, yeah, I like at the end there, just with the length of the match and everything, felt like I was about to have a heart attack, but I think that's a good thing <laughs> that shows uh what a great match this was and uh i just have nothing but good things to say about the other team and how well they played today yeah i think i think for for both of you guys i'll step in and say like it's very hard to go after what that post match just was <laughs> um a little bit it's it's 
you know, like things were said that weren't necessarily the nicest, kindest things about these guys were like, all that these guys want to do here is to play the game, to have a good time and to win. And for some reason, they're being made out to be the the bad guys for that. And I don't get that. Like, everyone here has the same motivations. Everyone here is playing to the best of their abilities. Like, the only thing that they've done is win, frankly. And, like, this was a great match from both teams. Like, yeah. Both teams played incredible. The lead went back and forth. Like, this is one of the closest, most back and forth title matches we've ever seen. I think these guys played fantastic and should hold their heads high. But it's at the same time, yeah. Um, yeah, I just want, want to say, Jeremy, he played great. Um, this, this, I think we've got great chemistry. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I think you great. too, brother. Um, yeah, I, I thought Bill and Jake played great. And it incredible. was an excellent match. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying. And, you know, I've, I've been pretty upset, pretty angry after a match before, and I've had opinions about things. So anything that was said, I'm not really thinking about. All I'm thinking about is the fact that they're great players. They gave us a great match, and it and I feel like we've been tested, you know, to our fullest, and uh, I feel really proud about this defense and not really thinking yeah. anything else. Defense, defense number three. Like incredible. That's, that's great. Defense number yeah. three. Um, our I record people are seven and know, are, now. Yeah, seven and zero. But like, how many do we need to beat yeah, Kumite's or not Kumite concepts defense record? Yeah, isn't it like know. four or five? I'll um, check. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was just I was just there. Uh, I'm not sure it's not here. Uh, well, as a uh, uh, Jeremy, uh, the Jeremy Cameron. What's uh, you guys are seven and zero now. You are going to be playing the winner out of the uh, tournament uh, that we're going to have. Is there anybody that I don't know if you don't want to face, scared of, want to play that could emerge from said tournament? I mean, I just want someone we haven't played before. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. Um, no Ooh. disrespect to them. The one team I definitely do not want is Ginyu again because we've played them twice. And yeah, it, let's it, make let's not do three. Yeah, we, we want to see I, great Scott. Underdog run, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean just whoever whoever comes down the pipeline, again, I'd like I'd like to face somebody we haven't faced before would be cool. And it's it's always cool to face someone who just won a tournament. That's like an interesting energy. Yeah. And yeah, we're 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 looking forward to it. Alrighty. All right, let's yeah. got to go to work, and I got family upstairs now, so yeah. let's wrap this thing up. <laughs> well, congratulations, guys. Uh, we'll just uh, take you out of here. Bye, and Bowman, your way up here. And there we go. Why does it always switch us? It's super weird. Uh, Dylan, fantastic match. Uh, yeah. Those are some post-match uh, things. Uh, what? Just put a bow on. I don't know what I was going <laughs> Yeah, look, uh, drama aside, everything that was said in the post-match interview aside, uh, I think everyone played phenomenal here today. I think Kumite showed that they uh, definitely they could be beat uh, Judgment City on any uh, like a different set of circumstances. Like it seems like I I feel like with how close this match was, I feel like if you run this match back like ten times, it'd be like maybe like half of them would be won by Judgment City, half of them would be run by Kumite. Like that's that's how uh, close it was here today. Everyone showed that they belong to play here in this title match. Uh, really great stuff. Yeah, right down to the last question. And uh, yeah, I know the the deep cut round is going to be a point of controversy here, but uh, also I feel like there's an the argument to be made that Judgment City also could have got two more points than they ended up getting in that round just by like not, them not being able to get the repeat in on the first question. So I think it ultimately kind of evens out there, but yeah, overall phenomenal match. Uh, all that aside. Yeah. Great stuff. I'm excited to see both these teams come back. Absolutely. Game of inches. And honestly, I'm completely fine. We get a, another one of these at some point, at some yeah. point later down this year, uh, we'll finish off this episode. Of, uh, uh, Multiplex movie melee. Uh, thank you everybody for showing up.
Uh, thank you, Kumite, uh, Jake Meltzer, Bill Carroll, uh, and their manager for today, Andrew Barr, and your still champions, Judgment City, uh, Caleb Boatman, uh, Jeremy Adams, as well as their manager today, uh, Cameron Holzman. And uh, thank you for everybody who uh, puts on this show. Uh, wouldn't be able to do it without all you guys, writers, editors included. Uh, Dylan, thank you so much for <laughs> writing this really wild wade with me. And uh, everybody, be well. Goodbye. Storm in the castle. Take it away. Take it away. Bye.